women's rights in Africa unfortunately is not at par because the different parts of Africa, there is an increase in violence towards women. There is also the surge in terms of women not being able to access quality, uh, cheap and equitable uh, sexual reproductive health care uh, provisions by the government, particularly uh, access to safe abortion. I'd also like to inform you that unfortunately vices such as the femi fe female genital mutilation are still being highly practiced in different parts of Africa, which is um, a call to every person in Africa, every human and woman in Africa to just do their work and to eliminate such vices because it's been eons, it's been a while, it's been 25 years for instance in terms of the Beijing platform of, uh, for action where promises were made to us by governments in Africa that they will eliminate uh, such uh, vices such as FGM and it's, it's not 25 years and nothing has been done because there's little to no progress. As you're aware, uh, FEMNET has been working together with the Coalition uh, for African Lesbians and other um, minority groups who are all Pan-African. Uh, we're working towards ensuring that this, first of all, that decision was rescinded or was taken back by the Commission. And we've been working towards just showcasing the work on the need for an independent commission. This commission is the last hope for African peoples. And surely if, if the Executive Council is interfering with it, then who will the peoples of Africa run to? in? Uh, uh, in, in times of crisis? Who will the African women run to in times of needs if it's being interfered by the same people who are particularly uh, leading um, harm towards the people of Africa? So there is a need for the commission to remain independent. There is a need for the commission to stand, uh, stand its ground and uh, articulate that they are the people who are supposed to do the work for African uh, peoples. I'll connect this with um, different organizations or movements or caucuses in Africa just um, seeking to get observer status at the commission so that they can be able to provide timely updates on the current situations of human rights in their countries. So definitely it's us as the citizens of our different states and categorically for NGOs, civil society organizations to seek observer status so that they can give regular updates on the current situations of, uh, of their states and generally of Africa so that the states can give recommendations and uh, regularly give feedback towards these uh, reports that, that will be issued by CSOs. So definitely this is um, a duty on us, myself, you and the citizens of Africa. I'll start with the efficiency of the Commission. So much has been done towards that in terms of administrative support, in terms of just uh, all the guidelines that are available, and there is more that needs to be done. There is at least, uh, at least, there's, there's need to open up this space for civil society actors to see where they can assist the Commission. Uh, there's, yes, they are accepting our support as it is, but there's need to open this, uh, the work that they do, particularly for us, to just be very, very open in terms of uh, accessing them, for instance, on their website as, as expeditiously as possible, to just reinvigorate the work that they're currently doing to just make it, um, what do I say, more accessible to us. As it is, yes, it's uh, accessible, but more needs to be done. The recommendation is definitely for any time uh, NGOs in Africa feel, uh, know that the session is coming up, any session is coming up in whatever country, there is need to go to the sessions and give the status of the human rights situations in your countries because um, the commission relies on the information they receive so that they can give the adequate uh, response or adequate recourse. So if we do not give them uh, any information, then they, it's, it's impossible for them to work with the different states to give adequate recommendations and to give adequate recourse. So it's important, particularly for women's rights organizations, to seek observer status and come and give their, the updates of the human rights situations in their countries.